So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a contact list in Qualtrics. And contact lists are really useful when you're administering a survey through Qualtrics for a couple of different reasons. One is that a contact list uh, is essentially your sample, the list of people that you're or elements that you're going to invite to participate in your survey. And so when you go to administer your survey, the contact list can be used to distribute the survey. So it will, will have contact information and you can just use that to send your survey out straight through the Qualtrics platform. Also, the contact list can be used to store information that you already know about your respondents or the people you're inviting to become your respondents. Um, and that can be used uh, to pipe information into um, uh, communications like emails or the survey itself. So if you wanted to be able to refer to someone by their first name, say in the landing page of the survey, you would do that by pulling information from the contact list. Say also that you already know that there are different kinds of people um, you know, it, that you're interested in in your sample and you want to route certain groups or certain types of respondents to certain questions but maybe not have those questions be asked to say everybody. You would be able to pull information from the contact list to, uh, to do that so that you don't have to ask people questions and then use the answers to those questions to route people through the survey. So uh, to start off creating a contact list, you'll see that this is the uh, contacts page within Qualtrics. And so you get there by going up to this uh, tab and clicking contacts right here. And then you'll see uh, by default, it just shows all of the contact lists um, that you have uploaded into your account at the time. And then over here, you'll see some folders. So there's uncategorized, which is sort of the default that everything goes into. And then you can create folders if you want to, to organize your contact list. And so what I'm gonna do now is show you how to create a contact list. So when you click create contact list, then this comes up right here. And since this is just for illustrative purposes, I'm just gonna name this example. And then it asks you to decide which folder it's gonna go into. So in this case, I'm just going to use uncategorized. Then I'm going to click next. And then you get this window here, and that's going to let you create a contact list in three different ways. One would be import from a survey. So if you've already conducted uh, or you've conducted an earlier survey or something like that, and you want to be able to uh, administer a survey to the same people or something like that, then you would uh, use this option. If you want to add manually, this lets you type in uh, a person's name oops and you'll see that I put the email I put the first name here in the email and then in you go the first name last name and then you'll see there's this field here for external data reference that is useful for um, if you want to administer a it's called an authenticator uh, so you may have taken a survey before where you're asked to provide some sort of an access code or something like that that's what external data reference would be for so you can make something up this is optional though and then language by default is going to be english and so if you do that you would just click add context and add context um, and then it'll just add them to the contact list generally though you already have a, a list of people and so you don't want to have to enter everybody in there manually. So what you can do here is you can browse your computer to uh, navigate to wherever contact list is stored. Or as you'll see what I've done here, I just drag a file uh, from a different folder and I can just drop it right here. And you'll see that I got an error that it, it is an unsupported file type because it is uh, an Excel file, which is not recognized by uh, Qualtrics. So instead what you need to do is um, upload a contact list as a CSV file. So if you run into that, here's what you can do. So you'll see here, this is the contact list that I'm trying to upload with a bunch of you know, made up names and emails. And um, there's something here for external reference, but we don't need to worry about that right now. So this is in an Excel file format, but if we want to change the um, file format, all we have to do is use this drop down here and then scroll down to this file format, uh, which is comma delimited um, dot CSV. So that's comma separated variables, what that stands for. And then I can just save that 
you'll get a little error message from uh, Excel or uh, an alert from Excel saying that you can't do everything with CSVs that you can with Excel file formats. That's okay. Um, then we can close out of that. Now that I've converted this to an Excel file or a CSV file, I can drag it up here, drop it in, and then you'll see that it automatically reads. And to make sure that it reads everything correctly, um, because it, what it will do is, what it means Qualtrics, what it will do is it will scan the first row of the data set that you have and see what those column headings are. And it will then try to make an inference about what information is in there. So um, it did a pretty good job here because I named the columns pretty obviously, like first name, last name, etc. cetera. But um, you can use these drop downs right here to um, change. So if, for instance, it recognizes an email accidentally as a first name, this is how you can make all of those changes. Um, one, there are three fields that you need to have in your contact list. So you need to have a first name, a last name, and an email, or else Qualtrics will give you an error. But everything else is optional. So then once we've got that uploaded, I can just click Add Contacts. And then you'll see up here under Current Jobs, right underneath of this button, it'll tell you what's going on and uh, it tells you the status. So in some cases, if you have a very large contact list uh, on the order of thousands, it might take a little bit because the file size is going to be larger. Um, and so it has to import and scan all of that and convert it into a contact list. So what I can do now is I can just click View Contact List since I see that it's at 100%. And then it's going to take me to the contact list. So this is what you'll see. And so you'll see, like we say here, first name, last name, email is what displays here uh, in this view. Then over here, there are these green, uh, there are these check boxes with green. And so what that means is opted in. So this is related to uh, administering the survey. So what these mean is that the person is opted into the list, which is by default the option that's selected when you create or add someone to a contact list. But say that you're administering a survey uh, and someone doesn't want to participate, Qualtrics includes a link at the uh, bottom of that email message. And you may have seen these in surveys you've received before that say, you know, unsubscribe. And so if one of your one of the people in your contact list or one of your potential respondents clicks that, then you'll see this uh, grayed out instead of being green. And if you need to edit anyone's um, information that's in your contact list, you can click the box here or you can click, you know, really anywhere that's along this line. And then it's going to show you information about that person. And if you need to edit that, you can just click edit. And then you'll see this is the, again, these are all fake names and emails and everything like that. Um, but what you'll see here is um, this. Uh, field here which says external reference. So instead of um, reading that as external data reference, you'll see that Qualtrics read it as external reference. So this is an example where we didn't specify uh, the right um, option when we were importing the contact list. And so as a result, that shows up down here is what's called embedded data. So this is just extra data that um, is included with your contact list. And then you can add more fields right here. So if you want to create another um, embedded data field, you could do that just by typing the name of it, comma, and then whatever the value you want for that. We're not going to do that here. Um, if you need to, say, manually unsubscribe someone, meaning someone, say someone sends you an email while you're um, administering a survey and they say, I don't want to participate, please remove me, you can just find them in the contact list click this button here, and then you'll opt them out. And then if you need to change the language, you can do that here. Although, like I said, by default, it's going to be English. So then if you make changes and you want to keep them, you can click Save. If you don't want to make any changes, then you can just click Close. And that is how you upload and edit your contact list.